conclusion that it can be safe in certain areas to take specific things. And like, what are some things that you would not recommend 100% to anybody to take? Okay, so like, Ninety-five point two. Oh boy, one ninety-five point two. So the cask. Sorry, I'm super tired. Not really tired. Just woke up. For the past four days, four days I've eaten three hundred and fifty carbs. You guys saw the full day of eating. You saw everything. Today I'm going back down. <clears throat> And I'm going back down to 250 carbs. It's time to lean out even more. I am, geez, my voice is all effed up. How many days out am I? I'm closer to 13 weeks out. All right, we're gonna go get this back and biceps workout in. So let's not even skip it. Let's just get rolling. Yo, hands down the best toothpaste in Z world. Since 1970, since 1970, fuck it. Dude, it's since 1970. Dude, that's, uh, that's the year. Uh... Insanity, brother. 1970, brother. Do you believe that? Yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy. Wow. Cheers to 250 carbohydrates. Okay, so I got a bunch of bunch of different bottles to test. I believe so. This is where this is our creatine HCL bottle, right? You guys can't see the label, obviously, because we're in development and we're releasing soon. I don't want to show you it just yet. This is like a bigger bottle that would be for like a protein. This is like one of the caps where it's like engraved at the top. This is where our greens, right now our Crayu greens is in. This is the bottle, so our first release will be white. This is a really good blend, a really good ingredient list, freaking love it. And then we're going to evolve to something way more unique. But one of the tricky parts is being able to print the way we want on the actual bottle itself. And so I believe we're gonna be using a six ounce, ounce bottle like this, but not chrome, but this is where like the probiotics will be, which as you can see, like if our line is looking like, if there's three different products here and they're each of these sizes right here, that'll look really, really cool, right? And then when we come out with our stress product, which when it comes to stress, I am so excited about, because this is really, really unique. Um, it. Like it's not me formula. It's it's not me formulating it, right? Like I'm I'm one of the people that are formulating it, but there's a, like a team of ten people that formulate it. It's me. It's a massive amount of influencers. That own like a doctor. Like we have uh, a few different people doing it. So that I am hyped about a stress product. So I could freaking take it like either either in the morning or going to bed. A whole shit bang. So yeah, we're finalizing packaging here in the next. Uh, 24 hours. Woo! A popsicle! Woo! Good. No, seriously, it tastes like a pop. Are you good? You just asked me if I'm good, or are you good? I'm always good, dude. Are you good? It's not a beautiful day on planet Earth. Oh, what a mercy. He's lost his money. <laughs> God, he's lost his freaking. He's been editing way too much. I have literally been absolutely addicted to raisin bread. I, so just so you know, first of all, 60 grams of the raisin bread itself, which is, oh, it's like a cup, uh, a little bit less than a cup, or a little bit more than a cup. And then I'm having five ounces of, uh, what is it, cashew milk. I grew up eating raisin bread. If I hadn't eaten it, and like, I haven't eaten it, I can't speak. It's so freaking long. But today, baby, 
Today and every other day, we've eaten raisin bran. 60 mother grams. Woo! Delicious. So freaking delicious. All right, now, now we're actually gonna train. My buddy Akash is actually coming to train as well, so. Back to buys. Do you fill up your water bottle? Absolutely. With this? Absolutely. Do you just get the reverse osmosis? Yeah, I should. Plain thing. It's funny because a lot of people have issues with, I don't know, like, people think that alkaline water is kind of bullshit. I don't know. Do you think it's bullshit? No, no, no. I mean, I can actually taste the difference between the- uh, Alkaline and reverse? Uh, I haven't had the alkaline yet, but like reverse between between. Well, that well, well, reverse osmosis is just like plain Jane water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like very balanced water, yeah. or I think. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking. <laughs> it is right there. That literally. Is juicy out. bastards. Not what's up? Right? 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 How you doing? Fucking jelly. What's up, dog? What's up? What's up? Oh god. What's up, dog? We already, oh, we already, we already decided what we're eating. Where? Yeah, we we. We already decided what we're eating for breakfast. We're like, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go I was like, oh god, let's hurry up and leave so we can get back and eat here before they wrap it all up. <laughs> they're not, dude. They're not they're no, no, they said ten. Yo, no, yo, no, but yo, they yo, have breakfast till like ten thirty. Being an enhanced athlete, I want to talk about why you believe steroids is good. Take. It can be. Yeah. So I want to talk about it. Sure. Let's do it. Can we? Yeah. Sweet. Say hello to the camera. What's up? It's happening. <laughs> Richest man in the world. <laughs> most jacked man in the world. There right. you go. Most jacked Indian in the world. <laughs> I'm the money, he's the muscle. There you right? go. Right. Akash and Akash. Let's roll. All right, let's roll. Biceps. Let's be back. You like supersets? I love supersets. I usually giant set the entire. I don't know what I giant set means. You just keep going. Is that just like a, like a bodybuilder <laughs> thing? No. Like a, you have to be over 240 pounds to call it a giant set. No, it's basically like you take three movements. No. Yeah. And you do them back to back to back and they don't complement each other. Well, I mean, it depends on what perspective you take. I mean, you would do like, let's say, chest, back, and then shoulders, for example. Giant set. I like doing that because it's really efficient. Like, I like to do like three, four You're muscle nasty. groups. Thank you. <laughs> I like to do three, four muscle groups. Your pack? I can't stop looking at your packs. Okay. Should I pull the nipple off? <laughs> do it. I do it. Oh! <laughs> he said. Hoop. <laughs> do I get creatine HDL for that? Oh shit, dude. <laughs> He's a good marketer for me, man. I need him on the team. <laughs> Look at this vein this man has. Lord. Lord has blessed him. Uh, we ain't even warmed up. Lord has yet. blessed him. Incredible genes. In the black and eyes, make my way into your mind. Just to know what you knew. Christmas every time we start. So interesting. Okay. So we're actually gonna be supersetting this. Another movement. So as you can see, he uh, this is interesting. He puts it through that little little hand grip thing. <laughs> AKA a handle. <laughs> and then he goes and so you Yeah, dude, let's do it down there. Let's do we that. Can do both. Yeah. We can do both. We can do both. It's huh? all about the angles. Mmm, it's all about the angles. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Pornhub. No, okay. My genetics permanently. I'm only taking testosterone. That's it. Interesting. You know what I'm taking? 
Greets in the chill. Yep, you're right. And greets, cheers. Yep. And, and, and you greets. <laughs> Fucking a happy And uh, Jack and Coke, and uh... <laughs> I'm taking... <laughs> I'm taking a happy <laughs> meal. I'm taking fucking... I'm just high on life. <laughs> <laughs> my life is great. I come from a place of gratitude. This is my, this is my uh, baby daddy. This is my... This is my uh, what, what do you call him? Not a baby daddy. This is my sugar daddy. This is my sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. No, 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 you can't have him. He's my sugar daddy. He's your sugar daddy first. Really? Yeah. Furry sugar daddy. <laughs> That's it. I'll pay you for happiness. Him. All right, we can I'll be swingers. I'll pay yeah. you for him, but then he'll end up paying me back because okay, he's my sugar daddy. How about daddy. you find your own and we'll swing? <laughs> there you go. All right? <laughs> naturally or, or uh, negatively and naturally both you know what I mean probably just you know and I'll let your brain go to wherever that needs to go <laughs> for that. Kosh was saying that we're gonna do as many reps as possible for a pull up he thinks I have 10 I think he has 10 full range of motion ones yeah he does that crossfit kippy one All right, about 25 let's see One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, immaculate form. <laughs> I'm dying. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Did you say two more? Fuck that. I'll say two more. <laughs> That's what I got. Lies. Boom! <sighs> Dude, what the fuck? I'm so exhausted. That's back for you. I'm gonna hit some quick stairmaster. We're gonna talk about something. You guys should probably really hear. He's doing his little gang sign behind me. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you apartment tour. Let's get it! What do you think of the place? I love it, man. I like the, the lighting. It's bright. I love the view. I feel it. I'm about to do an apartment tour. You think people will like it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Right now? Show us around. No, we can't do it right now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can't, brother. Oh, oh gosh. Balconies on balconies. I see you, dog. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, and the great news station right there. Look at this. Do you get nervous with heights? No. I don't get nervous with heights. No, not high. <laughs> heights. I, I mean, yeah, heights. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, correction. Spiders make me very, very nervous. That's and, it. And blackberries. That's it. That is my weakness. I actually have never seen someone smoke as much as you. Um, and be this smart, huh? No, but that this active. Yeah, yeah. Like that's yeah. what's mind blowing to me. Yeah, it's it's because uh, I have a, a a a very fast processor. Just straight up i do i was born with it it just some so when i smoke it allows me to delineate my entire life much better okay that's uh you heard it live i've never smoked live. in my life <laughs> person i don't I'm smoke cool. yeah he's smoking right now Brandon, but Brandon, anyways Brandon, all right guys so i'm gonna eat something we're gonna talk lay cool i'm ready how to create wealth we're gonna talk about creating wealth in real estate testing testing all right let's do it Welcome to another episode of the Create You Experience. Actually, for all of those, um, I go into the reviews and I see what people are saying, some questions that make this happen. So we're gonna be talking about how you can really create wealth. Start focusing on their first deal and build a business model for themselves. They eventually can graduate, graduate to commercial real estate apartments, you know, uh, strip centers, shopping centers. Welcome back to another Create You Experience episode. I am super excited to be sitting here with a good friend of mine, Akash Aesthetics. He wanted me to say that, the aesthetics part, because he's so, like, aesthetic. he's so aesthetic and phys phys physical and strong. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Anyways, before I give you an introduction of, of who Akash is, um, I just want to tell you, if you're new here, every Tuesday and Friday, we have a podcast every Tuesday. We're generally on YouTube. Um, and Fridays, it's Quick Time Friday, so it's very quick. We're going to be here for like 14 minutes. I actually have a call in 14 minutes. That's the great thing about this, is that we're going to jump into the topic that we're going to be discussing that you read on the podcast area, iTunes, wherever you're coming from, Spotify, we're across all audio platforms, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, and yeah, we're just going to jump right in. Now, Create Your Nutrition is also out mid-July, and we're starting to release more and more product. We're releasing it with uh, incredible high-quality ingredients, low pricing on shipping, uh, low price products. We want to come out with a band. We want to we be ahead of the game and do things that no one has ever done, so definitely check that out um, in the description or whatever in mid-July. Now, Akash, hey. 
Talk about who you are so we can jump right into steroids because that's what we're going to talk about <laughs> awesome. today. Okay. Quick short version, uh, start off in the bodybuilding industry, was competing, doing the whole nine. Uh, figured out that uh, it was really going to be really hard for me to build a career there, just on the back of competing. Started to build a business around bodybuilding, uh, coaching, supplementation, all that, the whole nine. And that eventually evolved into a consulting business to now where I work with CEOs, business people, entrepreneurs on how to optimize their high performance. Right. So, and that's what's really cool about you is that uh, you have a different perspective on things as yes. well. And that's what brings so much value to these entrepreneurs and and, and, and professionals, right? And so, you know, you, you're you're someone that uh, you do trust uh, performance enhancing drugs, correct? I trust my knowledge. Your knowledge, okay. Yes, yeah, so, so, trust the drugs. It's easy to go wrong. Right. All right. So I don't I don't want to mix that up, and that's cool, good that you yeah. clarified yeah. that. And so a lot of people just take shit yes. and they're like, oh yeah, dude, this is great, it's fucking great. I personally, I'm natty, like I, I want to be natural, that's my, that's my direction in my Spend life, it. right? Spend. And then for you, you have different like components that you kind of uh, yeah. are a bit different. So I'm all about how to have the smallest amount of input that yields the greatest output. If I can keep health, the common denominator in all of this, and I see a clear route that goes from point A to point B much faster than whatever it seems to be conventional. Again, keeping health first, right? I'm gonna do it. Like, what is the path of least resistance? Tell me I'm gonna go that way. Right, right, okay. So you, yeah, you're, you're willing to, to I, would you say it's a risk of doing it as well? Um, it's a risk if you don't know what you're doing, then absolutely. Honestly, at, at my level, I've been doing this for 10 years now. I understand the entire chemistry like the back of my hand, so it's just- And you have a great, work. and your health is great. Yes, right? my blood work is just part of it. Yeah, and, and, and it, I was actually mind blown by that because you know, from my perspective, I'm like, oh, steroids, per performance enhancing drugs, or this or that, whatever it is, testosterone, whatever it is, yeah. like, I'm like, okay, it's affecting your body in a negative way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Again, like this is not an episode to condone drugs. Just saying, just like, yeah, this is just information, uh, so you can hear it. Because he has one opinion, I have another opinion. He has facts, I have other facts. <laughs> Maybe I have facts. I don't fucking know. One thing about me and Brendan is that we can just have an open dialogue, and we're just so chill about it. Yeah, chill just chill about it, and, and and that's the most important thing is not judging, not yes. like being like, oh fuck you, dude, your your biceps and your arms are ten times bigger than me. Yeah, it pisses me off, which they're not, by the way. Um, but you know, like, wh what would can it kind of explain to me yeah. how you came to the conclusion that it can be safe in certain areas to take specific things? And like, wh what are some things that you would not recommend 100% to anybody to take? Okay, so like one thing right now that I would just not recommend anybody to take unless you are a professional competing bodybuilder and even then under the guidance of a professional that just really has a pop, really crazy good track record is insulin. Do not do this. Uh, it, insulin is the component of the anabolic matrix. The anabolic matrix is the different growth pathways that can be utilized to build muscle. Real quick, not to overwhelm anybody, but there's, you all name a few. You know, SARMs, inflammation, estrogen, anabolics, insulin, myostatin, there's more. But what we do is we take a little bit from each growth pathway to have a synergistic effect, one plus one equaling five, not two. Therefore, they have a symbiotic relationship between them and we can mitigate 99% of side effects because the side effects come from when you take an abundance of one compound or one thing, that's what yields side effects. But if you just combine it with the other right uh, drugs, if you will, Right, quick disclaimer, food, food and Tylenol is a drug too, just saying. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Uh, if you combine those with the other, uh, with the right drugs, you can actually stay really safe, really uh, keep side effects very low and get to where you want to go much faster. Cool, so what you're, what you're basically saying is don't eat peanut butter, eat almond butter. Cool, thanks for that. Um, no, no, but in all seriousness, uh, what you're saying is like, There's being very methodical, wrong. like being- You have to be very methodical about it. Here's one way you can go wrong. Right, you can um, take, uh, say, testosterone. In the testosterone, in the steroid family, there's three different families. There's testosterone-based steroids, and then there's nandrolone-based steroids, and then there's DHTs. Right, each of those, it would be great to take one compound from each of those families. They would work together much better um, and much more synergistically than just taking a couple compounds. Uh, for example, in the testosterone family. For example, if you took test and then stacked that with D-ball, for example, and stacked that with Equipoise, 
for those of you guys that don't know, f- I have no clue what the fuck. I know, right? Those deck balloon, balloon, basically, those are just balloon. compounds that are in the testosterone big, family. Big booby So, balloon. in the testosterone-based family, um, the, the, uh, the common side effect is estrogen. When your tos- the testosterone goes up, your estrogen will then go up. If you're in the nandrolone family, right, uh, the side effect is prolactin, prolactin-based, right? So if that's you, when your eyeballs uh, increase you, size times three. <laughs> actually, okay. that's when your nipples will lactate and you produce milk, right? Just so oh, you actually know. So you can this actually, is, okay, cool. Yeah, 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 so you, you can make your own milk. So, yeah, so you save money, brother. You yes, save money. Wow. Yes, your wife does not want to. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. That's yep, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But real quick, guys, listen, when you, the, the thing is, what I've seen people do is they'll take like three, four compounds in one family and then have an exacerbated side effect when they could have just distributed what they were taking across a multitude of growth pathways and literally have the side effects like cut in maybe a third or half even yeah. that. So, so, so this is what I want to say. People are listening right now or watching because we're also filming this on, for one of my vlogs on YouTube. What's up, peeps? Um, it, a lot of people are like... People are gonna take shit either way, yeah. whether you say something or not. And so sure. I would rather get information out that is like, hey, don't do this. Then someone go out, a kid, 16, 17, 18 year old kid, go out and fucking kill themselves doing it. Absolutely. You know, because you're really destroying your body. If you try and take insulin on your own, no, like, you do you I understand? You, you could literally die. die. Insulin is something that you do not, there's a Don't reason worry. why like diabetes is a very, very big, big thing. Like, yes. there, it's not just like, oh, you have type one diabetes, oh, just live. No, like, no, you no. need the insulin yeah. and it can really F you up. So, this is what I'm gonna say. All this information that he that he's providing so far, um, if you're already gonna take something and you already are taking something and it might be like a little off or whatever it is or it's not under guidance, like please stop. I, I, again, I'm natural um, and I would rather you stay safe than put yourself at a risk level that is not comparable to anything else. Yeah, see that's the problem right there. Right, just, just please stop. I, I would you know I would agree, but also see that's where all the damage is done when people stop. Actually, mm, oh. the post cycle right, 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 right. gets okay. wrong. And this is what really throws off your hormonal balance and your whole body chemistry. And this right. is where the damage is done and people cause infertility and things like that because they don't know how to get their natural levels going back. It's just like prepping. It's just like prepping. Like it's actually with anything. And that's actually good that you said that. when I said stop, I was like, hey, yeah, like mean, mentally, yeah. mentally stop, you know? Like when I think of when I was on uh, a painkiller, right? right yeah. And I was actually addicted to Percocet. And I was like, like all this stuff was happening where um, I started making my own poppy seed, like I was making my own opioid and like everything, wow. right? And so one thing that I learned was that when you jump off of that, when you jump off of anything, like literally anything that's affecting your, any any of your hormones or anything, yeah. like it's so much more dangerous mm-hmm. than even being on the drug itself. Precisely. And so what you're saying here is to- Be mindful and- Consult very- somebody. Yes, please, please. And consult, yeah. like, I, I, I don't know if, like, I should say, like, to consult you to, like, to wean off of it, but, like, you could. I mean, shoot, fucking send me a DM you, if you have nowhere else to go. I will just help you for free, but, you know, yeah. Disclaimer, no, I'm not a doctor. No, I'm not a qualified professional. No, do not do anything I say, but, yeah, you should be DM. Right, absolutely. So, um, another thing is, like, if people, like, are just ordering shit. Off, off, yeah, off online. You don't even know what the hell you're getting. First of all, you know what I mean. It's, a, it's usually probably getting made in someone's basement. Dude, it, it's like weed in a in a foreign country, and compared to Colorado, it's like in Colorado, they're literally they're they're literally like there's farms everywhere. Like you can, it, it's legal. Oh. It's like on on a different level with with what they're growing. If you go to like these some of these foreign countries, you go to freaking places that. I don't know, Brazil, like yeah, you go yeah, to Brazil, it's just like, the yeah, like you, you have to, you got to see the sourcing of every product that you're taking, every product. Now, if we can take a quick segue into SARMs, I just want to talk about that. Really yeah, quickly. please do. SARMs are actually like, they're, they're just, if you left me on an island and you're like, hey, Klaus, you can take steroids or you can take SARMs, you, you can't take both. I would take SARMs. They're actually more anabolic than steroids because the entire nature of SARMs are such that they only bind to the receptors within the muscle cells and they leave all the other cells alone. So what that does is it mitigates 99% of side effects. When you take steroids or something like that, your whole body is changing on a whole bunch of different levels. But with SARMs, 
only muscle cells are getting enhanced. So what that allows you to do is you can like literally, like just think about it logically, like your, um, the, the, the compound itself is only gonna mess with a muscle cell. It will leave anything else alone. So therefore you can take it at a higher dosage and actually build muscle more than steroids faster. And the only issue would be that it would shut down your natural testosterone. So you would just run male-based hormone testosterone alongside of it. And that is the safest thing to do. I'm not saying go do that, but please don't take steroids. I don't even take steroids anymore. I just, I literally just take testosterone. I stay on TRT year round um, and SARMs. That is it. So, so, okay. So um, I'm just gonna say this for anybody watching or listening. Um, I, I per, like, I don't know any of this shit. Like, honestly, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know any, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even debate with you and be like, oh no, this is what it does and this isn't what it does. I'm just saying, people are gonna take some shit. The reason I said that is because people just wanna take some shit. I know, they're gonna listen to this podcast, they're still gonna wanna take some shit. I'm like, yo, if I, I'm just, I'm here to tell you, if you're gonna be that guy, just, SARMs, look into that, Google it, just your, do your research. Way just be safer. smart, just be, be smart, smart, man. Guys. Like, just be smart, yeah, guys. and and really, like, if if you can stay natural, like, stay natural. Like that, 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 that's that's my opinion on it. If if you can just stay natural and eat, because you eat very healthy. Like, yeah, you don't I fuck eat, around with the, oh, your food. Oh yes, they're all organic, all clean. I even throw some vegan food in there. Just the the quality of food is super good. I'm big on that. Yeah, and so qual like. Gut sleep, health. sleep, gut everything. Health. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. If you have shit gut health, doesn't matter if you take something or not. Yeah. You're still screwed yes. with your with your performance based activities for sure. Yeah, that's what people don't understand. It's the diet. It's the food. It's the lifestyle. It's not the drugs. Yeah. So, so this is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say to summarize and to kind of close this this sure. short quick time sure, Friday. Sure. Um, I personally do not agree with taking stuff. Um, can I respectfully? hear someone talk about it and and say x y and z and like give some more information on it and learn from it absolutely 100 percent. at the same time my opinion comes from uh an uneducated mindset from society that, that i built from society so i'm uneducated in this realm i don't know anything about it you know you've worked with a couple doctors you've worked with a couple people right yeah that that you've also learned from maybe i and, lived with a biochemist for eight months right lived so so that's it's a different story yeah so all i'm saying is uh stay natty like for me i'm like stay natty why the fuck not like it's cool to build muscle and to be going into a competition on october 5th uh natural and wanting to win like it's cool uh if you want to win on the olympia stage literally like olympia arnold you're gonna need to take something like, like, I'm just gonna be real with you, I, especially IFBB. You're you're gonna need to take something, right? There, yeah, there's there's, sure. there's no fucking there's no yeah. way you're going to win on on a stage like that with all these other guys. And I'm actually I'm someone that believes in in like the impossible is is literally saying that is like that's a whole different level. So um, I'm I don't plan on competing on the Olympia stage as a professional. I would like to go pro maybe, um, but I'm not too worried about the the long term. And it, and honestly, it's not worth it long term to your health if you're not, especially if you're not doing it right, like 100. So Akash, thanks so much for coming on. Where can they find you? Um, Instagram Akash underscore aesthetics. That's A K double A S H underscore aesthetics. Cool. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, thanks for coming to the uh, Quick Time Friday. I'm super excited for you to be here. Remember, Create You Nutrition is coming out mid July. We're working with so many different people. We're focusing on gut health. We want to make sure that you're performing at your best. No bullshit. Just 100% at all times. Sleep is important. Stress is important. Everything's important, especially the quality of your products that you're purchasing, supplements or any anything that you're talking about enhanced or anything. So thanks for tuning in for another quick time Friday. I'm Brendan. This is the create you experience and I'll see you next time. Peace. I'm eating some fire, straight fire. I got bison, six ounces, then six ounces of asparagus and then one cup of white rice. I try to stay strong, brother, like you, brother. Like you, but dude, you're massive. Like it just doesn't make any sense. I know my whole life doesn't make any sense. It's what I do. <laughs> Oh man, you gotta eat. It's time to eat. If you eat right, you feel right. <sighs> All right. I'm not gonna lie. I am exhausted. I feel like my life just never stops. <laughs> There's never a break. One call to a next call to the next call, this business, this influencer. I'm prepping, gotta cook this. Oh, there's an issue with this financial, gotta fix this financial. You have the, 
Look, I'm not complaining. All I'm saying is, uh, actually, I am kind of complaining. And fuck it, I am, I am complaining. I'm ranting. At the same time, I'm just I'm really thankful and blessed to be where I am today and to be able to do what I do. But man, this ain't for everybody. I'm gonna tell you that much. And to be able to handle all this for so many years, uh, I'm proud of myself. And I'm, I'm acknowledging myself because, yeah. I don't often have any feelings of wanting to quit or anything like that, but it's tough, guys. It's tough, like running this many businesses and doing social media, podcasts, building, creating nutrition, like that's, that's alone a big job. Everything, but I make it happen. Like even making sure people are satisfied, happy. I'm also responsible for 15 people, what they're making, how much money they're making. like. That's a big fucking deal. It's not just like another walk in the park. I mean, I'm responsible for their livelihood. So, yeah, I'm going to be eating this. I actually have six ounces of salmon, one cup of white rice, six ounces of broccoli. Then um, I'm going to show you this apartment. <laughs> actually, I'm going to do it right now. And then I'm going to Sahara. Sahara, you guys don't know her, but you'll meet her today. She does a lot of project management and also designing. She's a fucking beast, a machine she is. And we're gonna be going over um, one of the apparel businesses that we're launching and also some of the designs for Create Your Nutrition. So yeah, come along for the ride. Okay, I lied. The good news is, new sauce alert. We got a bunch of sauces that are pretty much no calorie. Outside of that, I have some tomatoes. Some raspberries, more raspberries. I got some carrots, um, zucchini. I got some lemon, great for your liver. And here's the sauces that I got, check this out. Boom. Three pepper, tomatillo pepper sauce. We look tastes so good. We got oh, red pepper, chipotle pepper sauce. Zero calorie, like five calories for one and a half tablespoons, which is not that much. Um, then we have the Red Law sauce, the Outlaw of sauce, all natural, Ooh. medium spice. Then we have the Serrano condiment yellow bird sauce. It has like peppers, cucumbers, organic. It, this one looks freaking good as hell. Again, five calories. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna track these really too much. And then we have the good old Sriracha hot sauce, Ninja Squirrel. Oh, Lord of mercy. I'm excited. It's the damn truth. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at this meal. Mmm. Like, oh, this is so good. So I got turkey that's like literally 1.7 grams of fat. So I can get a lot of protein, a little bit of carbs. This is like, 20 carbs, that's it, or even less. So freaking good. And what you do is you get no calorie sauces, just a little bit, it makes everything so much better. Sometimes you use seasoning, sometimes you don't, and it's delicious. And then these right here, you don't even need to cook them, you just fucking pop them in your mouth, bop, and it's so, so good. Huh. I love to eat, man, I love it. Okay, so I've decided to do a complete apartment tour in the next video, sorry about that. I've been so busy. I'm trying to get the, the place fixed up. I have a couple things to do in my room. I wanna show you everything. Also like the office, like literally everything. It's a lot bigger than just what you've been seeing. Um, I am finishing my meal right here. I have a little bit of salmon. I have broccoli and these cassava flour tortillas. I'm gonna smash these like a mother I am Sorry. Anyways. Yeah, I brought it back with the good night. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you missed that and if you want me to start doing that. Um, yeah, anyways, remember Create Your Nutrition is coming out 100 and, I'm 101 days out from this video. Um, I'm getting more shredded. I'm practicing everything, eating right, feeling good. Uh, it's been a pretty taxing day today, I'm not gonna lie. And on this prep, it's been pretty taxing everything that's going on, I talked about it earlier, but um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that that segment as well, like the steroid segment. A little unique, um, I, I keep an open perspective on everything, and I, I try and keep that way. I think it's respectful not only to myself, but to everybody else that 
has opinions. Um, and you never know. You never know how someone can take it. So I keep it open, allow everyone to make their own decisions and stuff. So yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in for another episode or another day, another workout, another vlog of uh, body weight to bodybuilding. Remember, I used to do body weight for a long ass time, a long ass time. And now I'm still doing a little bit more body weight. I actually started incorporating it again slightly for certain movements like single arm row, uh, inverted rows and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.